Yeah, I'm very interested to see that. Well, we are just about ready to go. Let's get underway. Devastator Squadron, Skull Squadron, locked and loaded. Map number one going to be here on Sisubo yet again as we take a look. Two defenders, one for Swift, one for Jester. Oh, make it three defenders. I didn't see Dazu in that as well. So three defenders, a uh, support ship in Raven Eye, and that Thai bomber for Rando for the Devastator Squad. And uh, a nice, healthy mix for Skull, two interceptors, two fighters, and a bomber to start things off. Mm. What are your thoughts on the, the defender focus on the, the Empire here? I would imagine that this has to be an early tactic to get them on the attacking path. I would imagine they want to go one on one with some of these A wings. However, mm -hmm. Raven Eye does go down early, and that could be uh, the turning point here. No support on the field that's going to remove some of that shielding Definitely. that uh, he's able to, sub to uh, provide. Rando is also pretty low. Those Aster as well. I mean, we'll see what Pilot Air can do. Try to chase down. Great name. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't think this this Defender Cop is working out right now for Devastator because part of what makes the A-Wings so strong against these Defenders, at least watching, you know, 1v1s and things like that between these ships, is that the A-Wings get to pick and choose where they attack into uh, mm -hmm. these Defenders. And when you, you don't have an Interceptor of your own to kind of counter that, by attacking you first, it kind of, you're almost a sitting duck and we just saw that there. Raven Eye down again. Devastator squads are really on the back foot right now. Yeah, definitely. The the A-Wings are such a powerful ship and so useful in something like these tournaments. Like, they, if you can use them well and to great effect, they can be so powerful. And that's, I think that's what we're going to be seeing is the differences between the Defenders and the A-Wings as we see the big focus here. Let's take a look at uh, this first attack here for Skull. They win the dogfight in mid. Here's a nice look at Hidden Gecko as he's got one HP or so Ooh. left to go. <laughs> Just able to escape. He's got two health. He does have a decent amount of shields. Let's see if he can't get out, but there no, is. Wasn't able to pull it off. Yeah, there's the there's the frag and Devastator Squadron doing all they can to try to uh, regroup here and push back. But right now that morale bar staying pretty much in favor as we watch Geo try to chase down some of these defenders. And I, I'm re got to uh, gotta say here, Uplink, a bit surprised that we still see such good fighters in Swifty and Jester sticking with these defenders right now. Definitely, that is surprising to me. They, when I when I used the defender, I wasn't as effective as these people were, so I, I led it to the wayside pretty quickly. But my goodness, are they doing a fantastic job with utilizing that? Like I did not expect that to be the case here. Um, oh, they are falling back. The the tides are shifting. So we'll see how uh, they move to the defensive if they are going to continue keeping those defenders or if they come back as different ships. Oh, we've got Lanier and the Bomber. And do we have any other changes? We still got Raven Eye with the support, so that's good to see. Still no support on the other team. Interesting to see as well. I'm trying Again. to I'm trying to think who would be the supporting player if there was one. I don't none mm -hmm. of those names really scream support means to me from skull squadron yeah. so uh not surprised to see some of the bigger ships coming out this is a quite an interesting uh, comp mm -hmm. three fighters and two interceptors not it's just it's not typical that's not um, something i normally see either or even try to put on my side like I think the last time we were together, we had a same same kind of thing. We were, we were mentioning how these these teams, each one has a different way of approaching the the meta of the game. Right. Um, I, I'm very fascinating to see how well it plays out. Again, that support super important, but if they can make it work with this, this layout here with the three X wings and the two A wings, more power to you. 
Well, the assault is still in progress here for Skull. They've gotten shields down on both now, but mm. getting taken out, Hidden Gecko falling again, retreating are the rest of Skull Squadron. Only uh, Zaster and Geo really up. SSR is coming off the respawn, and everybody from Devastator looking to uh, farm some more AIs. There they are, and back to the offensive as we are mm. ticking down towards that 25-minute mark. We haven't really seen any games go terribly long this time around, which is um, a bit interesting. Yeah, they've all been so short. <laughs> yeah, considering some of the games we've seen in the past, certainly interesting that these games have been so fast. But uh, mm -hmm. I, this, though, to me, and, you know, knock on wood, caster's curse, uh, <laughs> this seems like a matchup between two teams that it could take a little while. Definitely. It they seem very evenly matched there isn't i mean we both had two in the previous matches um splinter squadron while the other teams were really good teams splinter squadron was able to go above and beyond and take it to the next level and finish it off so quickly uh right. this one it does seem like a a more evenly matched pair up uh, which always makes it fun because you get that push uh push and pull on both sides right so Let's see what they do here. You've got one out on full squadron and all a full team on the Devastator squadron. Well, the attack is still is still on. That frigate, yeah, there it goes. One does fall as we're mm. on board with Dazu right now, looking to zone out. Here he, he, he does Ooh. did effective work there, ends up getting shut down. I think he had a couple of players on him as right now uh, it's Swift who is being targeted and hey i mean the we we watched the defenders used to good effect on offense uh by splinter squadron in the last couple of matches and right now i'd say that uh you know this three defender lineup has done that so far here especially if they can get this secondary frigate mm -hmm. um i'm i i'm i don't know i i i'm going to reserve my my judgments until you know, obviously the yeah. game is over, but I mean, so far the defenders have put up work, and I know Raven Eye has been keeping himself alive a little bit longer uh, right now as well, and that really, really does help these defenders mm -hmm. get out of sticky situation. Oh, one hundred percent. On the scoreboard here, we've got they're, they're keeping their their death lower, but compared to the other matches that we've had, they are definitely higher on the kills. Uh, on each side so that i think that's what we're definitely seeing here is both sides are having a pretty even matchup on how many deaths they're taking and that's super important important is how much capital ship damage you can take or give and then how much how few deaths you can take while doing that <laughs> that's right. definitely one of the keys and we we're talking about this right before we hopped on about all of the different intricacies that you have to take into account to be effective at squadron it you have to be, uh, I think it was Silent Echo that said this, the productivity. You have to have the productivity in Squadron's esports. And you have to be constantly doing something. If you see a ship, you have to attack that ship. Uh, maybe it's an AI as you're flying to uh, deal some capital ship damage. And if you do that, be an AI, take a couple shots. You may not get them, but it could be more, it could be valuable if the, the support flying behind you if they take that shot and get that AI kill. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of support, Raven Eye is being chased down, though he's not in that uh, typical support ship. He did switch out mm. for a TIE fighter. Still the three defenders remain, and they're still on the attack right now, though morale not entirely in their favor. Unfortunately, I, I don't have the attack map open uh, on my side right now. I'm not sure what the subsystems look like for these ships right here. What a decent attack for Devastator Squadron, especially with both of these cruisers up. Though, you know, shields are gone. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to have to be a pretty good attack here for Skull because there's not a whole lot of Definitely. room for error. Yeah, uh, so I, I pulled up the attack map here and the left shield generator has taken pretty decent damage uh -oh. uh, for the MC-75. Right shield generator, while it did take some damage, it wasn't as bad. But they did deal some good damage in that. We're gonna see how they do 
utilize this attack run. Because it's right here where we need to start doing some damage for the Soul Squadron. Now, do you think with uh, with the shield generators being damaged, as as you mentioned, if Skull uh, are able to squeak out a couple of, or both of these cruisers, right? Let's say they take down both of them. Do we see them focusing the power systems first? Or do they mm. play, you know, the standard meta where you're going to shut down that, the shields, ultimately? I, I just, I wonder that to open up some more hull damage to try to steal yeah. a win on this attack instead of having to play another. They're definitely going to have to play it strategically. Um, yeah, like you said, that the main meta is very tried and true. But maybe they do start switching things up because I think they're going to have to be getting creative to be able to. They've already taken some damage to those shield generators. They have to start switching things up because this is a very important, need, very important part of the battle here. They need to keep themselves on offense already. It's mm. going so Ooh. far in favor of Devastator. If this switch is over, this could be the end of the game. There it is. Yep. Devastator Squadron with a stalwart defense. And They're now... going to have to push that defense so hard here if they want to continue. And even if they do uh, have a super strong defense, that's still... They have a lot to get back, even if they do get on that attack. It is MC-75. It's exposed now, and Devastator closing in. Geo, unfortunately, can't get back to the ship. Mm. Looks like... Well, actually, I think he did. He was able to get in there. Okay, yeah, I think everybody able to get resupplied. So this should be a pretty good uh, yeah. hold here. At least start to a defensive here from Skull. They're able to get their loadouts. We're watching Jester as he is going to joust there with Zaster. As now Raven Eye oh, has boy. that shield gener generator in his sights, looking to do some damage. But, uh, I mean, that shield already just about gone. There it is. It's gone. Yep. MC-75, hull exposed. Can Devastator close out map one? I I know, like we were saying, uh, it was a pretty even matchup, and <laughs> we were going to see a, sh a longer game, but I don't know if we're still going to see that. They were able to pull it so quickly into the opposite direction than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, I, I After mm. that first engagement, I... I thought Devastator was going to have to play from behind for most of this game. Right but... shield generator is left and right shield generators are destroyed. Ooh, that is a rough spot for the Skull Squadron to be in. Now they're starting right. to get the power systems. Oh. And for anybody know. who, again, who may be new to squadrons, as the power system goes down as well, those shield generators, when the sides are flipped, they regenerate, obviously, the shield on uh that mc75 if you take out both of them there will be no shields mm -hmm. come next time assuming you took the the initial shields out already and with yep. those power uh as you can see right here as Ooh. we're on with raven eye he's shooting that hull that uh that uh spacing in that hull that's generated by taking out those power systems as well so important targets to take down as it allows you obviously to continue the fight though the defense able to hold strong but uh i've got to imagine again unfortunately i, I can't open the tack map but i've got to imagine that mc75 on its last legs and skull squadron might have to play yep. even more defense just zoning people out from trying to end this one so i just pulled up the tack map and for reference to those uh watching at home star destroyer is completely safe on the devastator squadron side Targeting is completely full on the MC-75, though the left, right sh and sh uh, the left and right shield generators as well as the power systems are down for the MC-75. So if, if they want to win, I don't think they can. They have to put, they have to take it all out in this round and it doesn't look like they'll be able to do that. And not to mention again that, the, uh, that you can still get hull damage off on the other side. Granted, it's much more difficult those lasers will burn you down quite quickly. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it looks like from that tack map that we had pulled up on broadcast, that Skull Squadron's keeping one player at home, just trying to deflect any kind of uh, last minute dives here from Devastator. But they are going to put on some decent damage here. We're on board with Sasters. He's going to try to take down the shield gen. That will fall in. That's an important piece of the Very puzzle. Nice. But the attack 
switches sides. That's going to be huge. As let's take a look. Know. Devastator Squadron, just about 20% or so, maybe a little bit more, 25% or so yeah. left on that MC-75. This uh, very well could be the end of map one. As Skull Squadron, what what can you do in this locate? Like, what can you do in this situation? I, I don't know what. Like, you have to have a, you have to knock out the entire Devastator Squadron and keep that AI away. You have to you have to have such a strong offense as defense here. You have to shoot ships and don't get shot by other ships. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of how it comes down to it. But looking at the MC-75, mm. it is heavily under fire. Will this be enough? Rando, oh, he gets taken out, but I think that'll just about it's do there. it. There it is. Devastator Squadron, wow. take map one. It was a bit closer than some of the other maps we've seen today. But after the lead they took, they never looked back. And they're one map away from a date in the grand finals. Rando with 42 AI kills. Like that is how you become an effective squadrons player. 42 AI kills and then 48,000 capital ship damage with another with 46,000. Like that, 